we were coming in and all of a sudden it gets, gets really quiet and we find out later that the engines had run out of gas and so we were just kind of free falling. Tom Grove was in seat 13E 30 years ago tonight. He is here at the crash scene this evening alone to reflect upon and give thanks for all of the wonderful things that he's been alive for since the night of the crash that probably should have killed Tom and many others. As Tom remembers it, the crash happened after what seemed to be endless circling around the Portland area because of the landing gear problems. Tom remembers seeing Mount Hood out of his window seat until finally the flight crew told Tom and others to get their heads down. Shortly after that, the plane crashed across East Burnside and came to rest in an empty field seven miles or so southeast of the airport near the Glendevere Golf Course. I looked around and everyone in my section was feeling the same way. Everybody was just kind of, it was kind of this eerie silence that right after something happens, you wonder what's, what, what did happen? What was it that, that, that took place? And then at that point, we, we realized that something had, had drastically wrong had happened. Tom opened the emergency window and stepped out onto what he thought was a wing. But in fact, it was a sheet metal roof of a shed the fuselage of the plane had come to rest on. The wing had been shorn off by a nearby tree. I thought the first thing that went through my mind was, they pushed the button. <laughs> it's over. And I, then I looked out our other window and the whole sky lit up orange. And uh, and I and I just was just terrified. Dane Jestall was at home near the crash that night. Both Dane and Tom will never forget that night 30 years ago. Tom, in particular, knows that night could have been his last, and he's been thankful for every day since.